We are talking Detroit Lions training camp, observations, offense, defense, special teams, who's in, who's out, all of the lovely stuff. That's what this video is all about, just getting into the latest Detroit Lions news. Alrighty, folks, you already know this. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so, it does help out. And we're trying to get to 8,000 subscribers. With your help, it can happen. Who is in and who is out? Well, we're just going to do attendance here. Emmanuel Mosley still out. Obviously, C.J. Gardner-Johnson day to day. Jamison Williams, same as well. But Halapluti Vati Vaitai was out. And Tom Kennedy as well. So a couple new names to the injury report. Halapluti Vati Vaitai is the one that we really got to pay attention to. Why? Because he's battling for that right guard spot, and he's been injured for so freaking long now. And it's just one of those things that he's got to get healthy at some point. He truly, truly does. But it's just not happened yet. And so that's why they brought in Grand Glasgow, someone that you can depend on a little bit more. Let's go ahead and talk about the defense first. Training camp's been shifting a lot when it comes to how they're using their defense. And Aaron Glenn went to the four- to five-man fronts, and they spent a lot of time in those. But now they're going back to what they're kind of used to there. you got your edge starters, Vaden Hutchinson and Charles Harris. And John Kaminsky and Joshua Pascal, Romeo Aquara, James Houston, third. And they're splitting time with Julian Aquara. So Julian Aquara right now is behind the eight ball a little bit for sure. With the offense no longer working in the red zone, the situation is working a little bit better for the defense. Hutchinson jumped out of the gate with a sack and a tackle for a loss. The first team practice, they beat up on Brock Wright, Sam Laporte with power and agility. Charles Harris likely had a sack. You can't really tell, though, because you don't have the pads on. He beat out Taylor Decker. Romeo Aquara got in the fun a little bit later, dispatching the Lions' third-string offensive tackles for a sack. Opposite that, James Houston was also primed for a big play, and he was held big league. But it was only for sacks, though. Isaiah, Isaiah Bugs, Broderick Martin, Benito Jones all knocked down passes the line of scrimmage, while Harris and Malcolm Rodriguez registered pass breakups. And that's a really good thing, seeing what the interior defensive line can do. If you can't get to the quarterback, put your hands up and bat the ball down. That's exactly what they need to do. The Lions started shuffling around their linebackers on Wednesday. Noticeably, Jack Campbell was getting more snaps the first team. Overall, he looked really comfortable. He showed his range, dropping in coverage, something that was evident during the play that Kennedy got injured. Derek Barnes was also the other end of Campbell's snaps, shifting back to the two where their rookie moved up. Barnes once again had a pretty solid day, but his biggest gaffe came in the final practice session where he slipped and fell in coverage for the big play. Now, he's done that a couple times where he has been really good, but then at the very end, he kind of screws up, and that's one of those things that he's got to get better at. We need him to be good to go 24-7, but it is really nice to see Derek Barnes really doing the best that he can do in taking that third-year step. We've seen it in OTAs. We've seen it in minicamp. We want to see it in training camp, and he's doing it. Now he's still having a little bit of gaff. This is now two practices in a row, but it's growth. It's growth that we needed to see from the third-year player. We need him to take that next step because if he does, the linebacking core is in better position than we even thought. So hopefully he can continue to do that and he gets more acclimated to this defense and more comfortable with what is going on for sure. Let's go ahead and jump into a little bit of the secondary. With Gardner and Branch not practicing, Starting Will Harris and Chase Lucas was getting the second team. As much Gerald Harris got a pass break of practice, while Lucas got a would-be sack for the second team. With Harris shifting inside, the Lions utilized CB4 rotation on the second team opposite of Starling Thomas. Jaron Williams, Stephen Gilmore to get there on Tuesday, and Khalil Dorsey first time on Wednesday. We also saw a shift at the fourth safety spot. Afutu Malfanu 
Xavier Smith taking reps over Brady Breeze. That was earlier in camp. And, you know, it's good to see what other people can do when it comes to the back end. You want to see what can these younger guys do. So it's nice that they gave a little bit to Williams, Gilmore, and Dorsey. But I think we're going to start really see that Starling Thomas is making this football team. We're def- that, that's exactly what we're starting to see here. We're seeing a team that is really good, but you're getting a guy who's undrafted free agent who's doing a phenomenal job. And that's all we can ask for as Lions fans is when you get Brad Holmes, he's the ability to find the talent in all of the draft, undrafted rookies. Starley Thomas is looking gnarly, Starley Thomas. Let's go ahead and jump into the offense here. Now, the offense has been lighting on fire the last couple days, but they were a little bit uh, slowed down today. They weren't doing a lot of the red zone stuff. Is more all over the field. Jared Goff, Nate Sudfield settling for short to inter- intermediate passes. They couldn't get down range. The primary beneficiaries was Josh Reynolds and Khalif Raymond, of course, while Sam Laporta James Mitchell found space in the middle. The only offensive skill pip Skill player to make a big play downfield was on Monroe St. Brown, and it was the yards after the catch. St. Brown was able to find his blockers behind solid gains. His best reception, 25-yarder from Jared Goff. And the two continue to be absolute studs no matter what. So, look, if the defense takes takes the over-the-top, you take the short to intermediate. That's this Lions offense, the ability to hit you any which way you want to take the back end, we will take the intermediate. And that's per- perfectly fine, and Jared Goff absolutely will do that. The Lions experienced with some roll expansion in the offensive side of the ball. Most notably, seventh-round rookie Antoine Green getting some time with the starters. Really good. Oh, yeah, Antoine showed up. I think he had some reps, Jared said. Offensive quarter Ben Johnson said ahead of the practice, and that's a product of what a couple days digged in and not practicing. But same thing with Laporta talking about Sam earning the right. Green has earned the right for a couple reps, and so he's starting to develop a little bit of trust. He's playing faster than he was in the springtime, and the biggest challenge right now is he's a 440 guy, and he needs to play 440 every single snap. And that's how he'll get open. Green is gaining incredibly valuable experience with these reps, and he makes mistakes he did on Wednesday. He's getting some heat and attention from the wide receivers coach, Antoine Randall L. That is good. And you want him to make the mistakes in training camp, not in game time. Some other people getting some playing time was Trinity Benson, and that was from uh, Adrian Martinez, the quarterback that will not make the team. Vitae not practicing. Graham Klaskow was with the first team reps, opening the door for Soresdale to bump to the seventh, second team. Yeah. Interesting Soresdale spotting because we assume at some point he'll be the, the main backup for sure. Heads up team drills, special teams doing their thing. Tom Kennedy versus Cam Sutton, Jerry Jacobs versus Amon Ross St. Brown. Sutton immediately asked for a rematch. Kennedy again, slick move, beating on Sutton. As expected, Khalif Raymond, Justin Jackson, Jalen Reeves, maybe Anthony Pittman, Will Harris, Starling Thomas. Khalil Dorsey and Maurice Alexander all on the special teams, and they stood out as has been going on forever. The kicker, bat- the kicker battle continued today with both Riley Patterson and Parker Romo converting four of their five attempts. Patterson missed a 33-yarder while Romo missed a 38-yarder. Patterson was also chosen kicker at the end of the team's one-minute drill and successfully hit the 45-yard field goal. So the kicking battle continues. And to me, I I still think it's going to be Riley Patterson. That's who I got ultimately winning this bad boy. You know, but it is a real legit competition. And Parker Romo is putting everything he can to win this bad boy and be the kicker for the Detroit Lions. This thing will go all the way through preseason. And that's a good thing because you want to see these guys get as much kicks in as possible before you name your starting team kicker for our Detroit Lions in this big time season. Folks, we are dropping videos every single day. Make sure you hit that like button. 
Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the latest news and rumors regarding our Detroit Lions.